Tonight I will be streaming for about half an hour until my camera goes down. The telephone is overheating after half an hour. I haven't been working on lace for such a long time. And before I start, as always, I was shopping a couple of days ago. Found, found this beautiful Canaria for the filling. And I started another set. I've got lots of stuff stacked, but I couldn't resist. So I got the, this yarn from my stash. And I'm doing some kind of floral top. With maybe, maybe add some dark brown. Something like this. This is actually acrylic, so I'm just showing as a color. So there will be leaves and flowers, the, the branches will be in brown, just a very light trace of it, and the filling will be done in this cappuccino color coffee. But anyway, back to the skirt, I hope I finish it very soon. i got so much stuff to do, I just procrastinating on everything <laughs> I haven't worked on it so much that I got the yarn barf here so of course Rudy has to make himself clearly notable so as as usual I would start probably with a Y stitch here. The couple of Y stitches. So I don't get in deep too much. And I guess one stitch here. As I said in previous videos, I never plan the exact path on doing filling. It's just the, the way the motive go. And Probably another Y stitch. No, it's just a plain stitch here. Treble. I'm speaking in British terms. So I guess in American it will be double. And again. Y stitch here and here. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Dolores. It's been a very long time since I started this. I actually started this skirt in 2014. I was sitting at the tax office, I was waiting for my queue and I had a skein in my back, just, just bought it. So I decided to try this and this try goes, oh thank you, this try goes on for, no, eight years now. And I ho hope I will finish it this this year, hopefully this month. There's only a little piece left, is just the waistline. 
which is the most difficult part because I'll have the cloth underlining stitched in. So I got this this band. It's just the the I don't know what's the word for that. After COVID, I forget everything. I forget everything in in my own, in my native language, not to mention the English. But yeah, the underlining will be st uh, stitched here. The, 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 this will be the zip lock. So I just got the belt part to be finished. And that's the most difficult part. Because I'll be, I'm, I'm working on both filling and this the treble cast on. So just the you you make this band I was making the video previously a couple of months ago when you do the cast on at the same time you do the the first row of trebles and I think I got it the hook extra extra spin here extra yarn over Do it this way, easier. I don't know if I showed it the uh, the finished part. I got it got somewhere. Opened it just to see how the how the part. How the stuff looks like. That's the front part. So the the filling is just one tone darker than the motif. That makes it on the daylight. It looks very very ex exquisite. I think what's the word for that? Very nice, and shiny. And I lost the hook. This is it. Got it back. It's so much, so much stuff do, going around. As I'm working for the local souvenir shop, and I'm doing kind of tamari stuff. You can find it on the Handicrafts A to Z channel. Got lots of videos on that too. So at the moment, I'm doing working on those tamaris. And that's why I don't have that, that much time on Irish crochet lace. But I'll try to squeeze it in my work scope. So I definitely have to finish this skirt. Get it closer. And just like with any motif, you just pick. I've got the flower here that I can show you where to pick. If you look at the flower, you've got the nice strip. That's the sample. It's a bit dirty. And if you look at the front, you've got this nice, nice chain. So what I do, I pick up... The front chain remains the same, the, the loop, the front loop. So I pick up oh thank you. Yeah, I'm a great fan of everything is Irish. I even have an Irish setter. So you do the pick up the back stitch and this little rib that goes under that the yarn over. So you pick up two, two threads. That's why the when you do the filling, it keep, keeps nice and tidy. At the same time, the flower, the motif itself, stands out from the filling. 
so that's what I'm doing here it's nice to work with the doubles and trebles here because they have this back loop and the little rib it might sometimes sound funny because with this COVID thing I lost sometimes with some phrases I lost my perfect accent and I start speaking more like Russian with rough R and all the stuff Now, since we have two squares here, I don't want this filling to look very regular. So I do the Y stitch, probably around here somewhere. So I break this square pattern and I have this little pentagon. So when you do the filling, try to do the pentagons and hexagons. Uh, avoid triangles because they look kind of very sharp and very cornery. And like this. Pentagons and hexagons are very look very smooth when you do the filling. And again, another Y stitch and the Y stitch here, or maybe just the zigzag. It's when you cast on so many stitches in one row, in one go, and then just complete them one by one. Just like you would usually finish the regular stitch. It's a bit like Tunisian stitch, Tunisian crochet when you cast on so many stitches at the same time and then you just work on them. But it's more free form, free form Tunisian made on the filling. And I guess here I will make another Y. You know why I call the Y stitch? Because it looks like one double, one double as the y, y letter. But also the X stitch that resembles the X letter. way when you work on the filling make sure that you have the all the motifs are lined up and tight it's when you do the filling it and kind of shrinks shrinks the cloth that you're making so everything has to be so uh, secured solidly that's why I usually stitch everything to the surface so it stays the same even if I got some shrinkage during the filling it is not that a big space but in this case I have to pin every every half an inch even less than half an inch and every motif is pinned in two, three areas, so it doesn't fluctuate. And 
and then I probably add one more pin here. I do have plans to try the Carrick Macross lace sometime this year when I finish the work for the craft uh, for the gift shop because I have something like 300 bubbles to make and after that I'll be absolutely free to craft to crochet whatever I want but I'll try to make some space for the Irish crochet lace in between as I said and another yarn barf I don't know how this happens you place everything in your drawer you don't touch anything when you pull it out you got the yarn barf all around your work so get, get the thread out And of course, there's dog hair so it has to be removed. I guess I'll just cut the thread when I get to the yarn barf and start over from the new, new skein. Now, when you get to the corner, you can do another Y stitch, you can do the double treble, like this, so your corner is nice and smooth, and again Pin it well. I guess I'll have to trim. Trim and probably finish the yarn at the either this or this corner, somewhere I can hide the spare end and start start working with my new skein Well, in this case, I have to go either this way and hide it here. So I would prefer to do the another zigzag stitch here. So I can fill as much space as possible during this pass. Or since I'm adding the new thread. Yeah, I might finish it here and just start over there. Just got enough yarn to do that. Sometimes I use this just slip the knot, the stitch like this. 
So instead of making a stitch, I just pull the, the one that's on the hook through the motif. And like this. This is also easiest way to make the filling. And You see, there's no particular pattern. I could do the stitch, or I can just pull it through. Like this. And since I already ran out of yarn, I'll just tie the knot here, bind, bind off here. And I get another skein. Let's finish the one I have. And again, I leave the, the tail about... Oh, thank you. And I'll start from here. And we'll go down, do the, with the vice stitch here, fill, fill it up, and then go up. Probably Cut the thread here again, the advance, the cloth on the tablet, and then continue working. So this is just the, the matter of patience and the sore back, sore neck. While you're working on the filling, that's the one minus of doing Irish crochet lace is does ruin your your neck. So you have to. Spend most of the day with your neck down. And just as I said, I'll do the do the white stitches. At I'll, I'll finish this Y stitch here. Before that, I have to go down. Do the I don't know how to call this one. The double double Y stitch. Ear of the dog. And 
might consider make this stitch over here as well so I can join these two together they're just uh, done in one go I uh, just just the way that it feels you know uh, let me get let me finish this one use your your hook it's usually the you know the length of your treble and you can use that as a measurement I usually get inspired of a mud volcano here is about five kilometers away from me and sometimes I go there and I get inspired with the cracked mud from the volcano Look, looks really nice how nature can do all that without anything just a month but it looks so perfect so just like this I'll probably have to force myself to do streaming otherwise I, I won't be doing that well thank you there's lots of tutorials here on this channel you can subscribe and hopefully I'll get some more plan to do a lot of classic Irish crochet lace this is the modern the this is the Ukrainian style it was propagated by Antonina Kuznetsova she's in occupied her son right now She can't really join. I'm s yes, uh, yeah, I will plan to make more videos. It's just as I say that right now I'm doing stuff for stuff for money, and there will be some stuff for fun. So Irish crochet lace is stuff for fun. Timari is more for money because. Obviously, Irish crochet lace is very expensive. Not that many people can afford it. So I'm sticking to something that can bring money fast and easy. And then I'll do something to enjoy myself. Hopefully, the whole May will be dedicated to Irish crochet lace. So honestly, I'm fed up with this stitching. I do love, I love Tamari, but it's getting so boring. And you already done 70 balls since New Year. So what I, what I do now, I'll probably, let's finish it this way. There's nothing scary just to cut the thread, not working from in one go. That's the perfect, for the Irish crochet is perfect, that you can cut the thread, start from the other point, and then continue, and then come back. So, what I'll do here is the Y stitch yes I was in quarantine and but still managed to catch but luckily, luckily it was Omicron so I almost didn't notice it 
it was just a couple of days I thought I had, I had the uh, all of a sudden I had the ve very heavy Parkinson like for three days I was shake shaking I couldn't even eat or even stand up I was shaking that bad and you know the temperature was temperature wasn't wasn't that high so I couldn't call the ambulance to do the tests and I didn't want any didn't want to ask anybody so I, in case I don't want to infect anyone so we suspected it was Omicron especially the, bl the blood work said it was so yes I finally after two years I did catch it but as I said, it was Omicron, so it was okay. It was okay for me. Because if it was Delta, I wouldn't be here. Now, this is just mentioning where to go. How do I figure out where to go next? It's just I use my thread to place for example I got this nice well it's not even pentagon but more or less so I would do the stitch here with the length of my hook and probably not I would probably do the stitch to the border first I don't like the big hole that turned out after that pentagon now I can I can do the pentagon now see what I'm talking about about the uh, motors that is, they should be solid even though that it's stitched it still floats and it creates the gaps and uh, it shrinks because of Anyway, when you remove it from the template, the filling will shrink a bit. So you have to have something should be solid, and that's the motifs stitched or fixed to the surface. And I guess I'll do the stitch here, here, and we'll make we'll make one more stitch around to the shamrock, and I'll bind off here at the shamrock. That would be if I find my clippers. It's 33 minutes and my camera goes blinking here. So that's it. I bind it and it's secured to the belt area. Well, belt. It will be given to the tailor and it will, will attach the line, lining and the belt part. So it will look, look nice and professional if I find time for that. So yes, um, that would be it for today and I will advance it and I'll probably be online on Wednesday. So see you on Wednesday. Thanks for watching and have, have fun. Bye.